Hi, my name's Ed Lee, and this is the Ski Yodel Guide to Meribel. Ski Yodel have got self-catering apartments all over the Alps, but they pride themselves on offering up local knowledge. So you've got a network of experience that will tell you where to go and what to do so you don't have to waste any time or money when you're out in the mountains. And that's exactly why I'm here. Uh, I've spent a lot of time in the mountains, and I've got quite a lot of experience of a few resorts. So I've cherry-picked my favourites, and I've put together these little guides to help help you uh, find exactly what's worth checking out in resort. Uh, in terms of Meribel, there are a lot of different metrics by which you can measure the biggest ski areas in the world, but it is widely accepted that Meribel at the heart of the three valleys sits in the middle of the world's biggest ski area. You've got 600 kilometers of piste. I did a charity ski once where we had to try and ski every lift in Meribel in a day. I think there were 57 in total counting all of the uh, little lifts on all of the beginner slopes. And it was, we were exhausted. And that was one day of flat out skiing from dawn till dusk so uh, there's more than enough to keep you busy in the three valleys for a whole week uh, there's some great off piste in there as well which a lot of people don't know about it's often seen as a sort of intermediate beginner uh, sightseeing place but there's some great uh, off piste to be had uh, in terms of where to go uh, if you're looking for powder you can't beat Mont Valon laps right up at the back of the valley there they are they're epic and there's so much space if you get up early you will no matter how many people in resort you'll get a few runs really really choice runs and then uh if you're not interested in backcountry or powder then the Lowe's chairlift has some really nice winding blues and reds off there and they stay in primo condition they don't get too crowded so definitely go and check those out um in terms of the resort itself if you're looking for coffees first thing Le Chaudan is great or if you can wait until you get onto the mountain the Ladre Telebar is well worth checking out as well. Um, Chez Biff for a quick bite to eat. They're in Monterey and I reckon I'm going to put my reputation on the line and say that they've got one of the best burgers in the Three Valleys and that is truly saying something. Um, if you're looking for a slightly longer, finer dining, then uh, Le Clos Bernard in the forest by Altiport does some really good food but it's also a great spot uh, to hunker down for a hot chocolate on a snowy day as well. Um, in terms of at Preski, then the Ron Point, aka the Ronnie. If you want open air tunes and dancing on tables that's well worth checking out. Or Jack's. Uh, it's more of the same but just a little bit different. Uh, those are my picks for the Meribel Valley. Uh, it's definitely worth checking out. I know, I know it's famous. I know a lot of people think it's been done but it still has so much to offer. Head over to skiyodel.com as well. There's loads more local tips like the ones that I've just shared. Uh, plus there's some brilliant self-catering accommodation.